My top tip would be just be yourself. Know your CV and know your application form really well. Try to come across as someone who has a clear idea as to why they want to work in the central bank. Be confident coming in about what you can bring to the central bank. I did do a lot of research beforehand, so that kind of helped to steady my nerves. You know, you really have to demonstrate what you put into words on your CV, so I suppose the team and case study aspect of it really gives you a chance to do that. I knew it would be a competency-based interview and just knowing my competencies. I think just for any interview in general, it's also very handy just know what's happening in current affairs. I think if you can tell the interviewer what you know, it really does make you stand out to others. And I think if you can do that, you'll be okay. No one is going to try and catch you out. Everybody on the other side of the table really wants you to do well. Everyone is in the same boat as you. So I found it very reassuring to speak to people who were genuinely going in and doing the exact same thing. I felt pretty relieved afterwards, after I'd gotten over and done with, but I felt pretty happy with how I'd performed. Everybody gets nervous in interviews and I think for me the key thing is to relax. Nerves are just a natural part of the interview process. And if possible, to practice. Power pose like Superman or power pose with your hands on your hips. Two minutes of deep breaths and you'll feel much stronger going into the interview part. <laughs> I had an interview once where I literally, my hands shook every time I was like trying to take a glass of water. It was awful. <laughs> my best, my first boss. <laughs> my biggest weakness, I still don't know how I'm supposed to answer that. <laughs> Believe in yourself and then don't be afraid to back that up with a confident interview.